Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video I will be leveling, crowding and polishing the frets of the CH Guitars SG. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about this guitar. It was made in Korea, has a mahogany neck and body with set neck construction, 22 medium frets and Korean quality hardware. I'm not sure on the exact brands of the components but it was made in Korea. All in all, a great beginners or intermediate guitar. For the price, you can't go wrong. I believe they were £190 new. This was probably around 10, 15 years ago. So they're no longer available. These are some of the tools I'll be using. A leveling beam, a notch straight edge, a crowning file, a triangle file, screwdriver, allen keys, masking tape, neck rest, a marker pen, assortment of sandpaper, fret end file, microfiber cloths and some more not pictured. And we can see the neck's not straight, so it needs adjusting, which means taking off the truss rod cover. Grab your set of allen keys, take the 4mm in this case, and a bit of a, an adjustment, we're going to slacken it as it's a little too tight. Once that's done, we mask off all the surrounding areas where we don't want all the dust to get to and also mask off the fretboard. Once the masking is done, draw a line on top of your frets. Leveling beam with 220 grit sandpaper on it and uh, we can go to town. Upon inspection, you can see we have quite a few low spots, so we've got to continue, keep going. Three pieces of masking tape stuck together and stuck on the 12th fret to create a fall away. I also put some masking tape on the actual leveling beam on the sandpaper. And what you're doing is taking off just a bit of material off the last three to four frets and that's called a fall away. Brush off all the dirt and metal filings, remove the um, strip and start marking up the frets again as we're going to do some crowning next. I'm 
I like to start with a triangle file just to get a rough shape. After that, I'll go over it with a crowning file to get the final shape. Remember, you want to leave a thin line on top of the fret. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin or disappearing completely either. Now I'll use my fretting file to bevel the lower edges and the top edges. If you look closely, you can see me flip the file over. One side does the lower bevels and the other side does the top bevels. Now we start the sanding process. Start with 600 and work your way up all the way to 3000. This will get you very smooth frets with no scratching right after you polish them with the uh, Dremel and metal polish. Now we're at the polishing stage. We use some AutoSol metal polish, apply it to each and every one of the frets. Get your rotary tool or your Dremel, in my case the Dremel 3000 with a felt wheel. Wipe off the remaining residue.
and let's repeat that step for the second time. Doing this makes all the difference, just trust me on that. Last wipe down but being more thorough. Time to remove all the masking tape so we can see our finished product. And there we have it, all done. Next I'll clean the fretboard off the camera, and give it a bit of lemon oil, string it up and set it up. And here's the finished product. Looks great, plays great, sounds great. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Goodbye.